Hello. I'm not on my own today. She's here. I'm back. Why are we whispering? We just got Jack a crib and... Bad idea. No. It was time, but he does not like it. He thinks it's like a cage or something. He does. He literally thinks he's in a prison cell because yeah. there's bars. We just barely got him to go down and it kind of took longer than usual because of the crib. We have to be kind of quiet. But we won't. This is going to get bad. He's going to wake up. But you know what? I love when he's awake and I'd rather him be awake. The amount of times in a day that I shut cupboards for Derek. It's hard to shut the cupboard when you're done using it. It's like, obviously I just want to get my glass out and take a drink of water. I'm not thinking about shutting the cupboard. I just oh, want to quench look, my thirst. Look, we have another. Um, yeah, well that one, I don't know why I left that one open. My head looks funny. <laughs> when I was little, my mom told me that I almost got a helmet put on my head because my head was really flat. Okay, so we haven't done this before, but I'm actually really stoked. Um, we had, a girl reached out to us and I guess her friend is a really big fan of our channel which is like the coolest thing for us to hear. It really is cool. I um, wanted to give her a little early birthday shout out and her name is Mayan. Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. And I hope you have an amazing day. So what we're doing today is really fun. <laughs> Sarah's nervous but I kind of like these this. things. I don't know. Um, we asked Instagram to give us weird, embarrassing, and awkward. juicy, awkward questions, not like normal ones. I'm scared. There were so many questions, you guys. It was really hard there to get through. There were a lot of juicers. Um, yes, a lot of... Juicers. When's the best time to wear a striped sweater? Is what? One with a collar, turtleneck. That's the guy. Cause when you're wearing that one special sweater. If you didn't know what that was from, go oh, watch amazing. it on SpongeBob. All right, this was definitely, everything surrounding this was the, like, sex. top, yeah, sex. Everybody <laughs> wants to sex. Sex. Pretty much, people want to know how our sex life is after having a baby. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, well, at the beginning, it was more just, like, really hard to find time to, like, yeah. have just us time because we were just so focused on him and we were both not sleeping. It um, didn't so even sound fun because we were so, so tired. tired. Um, so now, how has it been? I feel like it's just like getting better and better. That's what I think. I don't yeah. know what you no, think. It, it, it is, for sure. Because I feel like we're just finding more time. Like he goes down earlier. Like we're I not as tired. I think it's basically the same now as it was before. Yeah. How was our first time after having a baby? How was that? Weird. It was kind of weird. Not weird, but it kind of hurt. Yeah. That's weird. all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> I honestly just feel weird because our parents watch our YouTubes. Thousands <laughs> Out of thousands of people, people I don't really watch. care. I just like my parents. I just, ugh. If you thought that the LES church was untrue, would you leave it or stay for the community? That's a good question. Honestly, the community is pretty great. Communities are very good and they can also be very bad things. Obviously, it's like when you think something's true you want to stick with it and that is obviously the draw with us but the community itself is really really good people are really nice and loving for the most part for but like part. any community and... there's judgmental people there's people that aren't great people yeah and i think it's a pretty tough question i don't know if i would based on just the community i definitely agree with what he's saying i think the community is awesome and it's very like helping each other oriented but if i really believed that it wasn't true i I'd, mm, yeah. I'd be out skis our religion is awesome but it does have like a ton of rules and restrictions that we follow that aren't the easiest um and who doesn't want to have a glass of wine every now and again or like you know, there's just a lot of things and i feel like i wanted to follow those rules because I believe it was true. If it wasn't, I'd be gone, but the community is awesome. Yeah. So that's just a great perk. If you had to rename your spouse, what name would you give them? Wait, 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 Ready? wait, wait, wait. Derek is no. a Rex. A Rex? 
He's a Rex. Rex? Rex. <laughs> oh. Yes. Or, um... Do I really look like a Rex? You act like a Rex. I don't know if you look like one, but you act like That's a Rex. That's the, the name you would choose for me. You, you would give me the name Rex. I'd still call you other names, probably. That, that, okay, that. fine, fine, fine. What about, what about... Darian. Darian? <laughs> what the... Bobby. I don't know why I see a Bobby. A Bobby? Bobby. I would give Sarah the name Jasmine. Please tell me that is not because of Princess Jasmine. Did you have love before Derek? I didn't want to put this one on there, but I feel like it was asked a lot. Yes. Do tell, Sarah. I think it makes him jealous because he knows that like it was like a real relationship and it was very long. It was like two and a half years. What else? What else? Did you love At him? the time, I thought I did. You thought or did you? I, there's love and there's in love and there's knowing that it's the right person for you no there's yes, love or no, there's not love no no because i did love him but i knew he wasn't my person tell us in the comments what you think about okay, love <laughs> okay would you accept jack if he grew up to be gay or trans of course of course 100 percent. yeah um, my brother's actually gay yeah and honestly i feel like he's just like who who he, is. he is now and he's way more comfortable and it's just like such a relief and it actually like grew our relationship honestly Good question cute. yes there was a ton about do we support the lgbtq wow why is that so hard for me to say if you could change one thing about each other what would it be give it to me no you go first give it to me i love derek say it say it i love derek is a Pretty bad listener. <laughs> I have ADD. I know. Sometimes now we have a system where I'll like say it like once, twice, three times, and then I have to say like last chance. And last then, chance works so good. Yeah. I hear it. Girls need to be listened to, so that's just a hard thing. Frick, I hate this question, it's a stupid question, but it's also a very juicy good question, so I'm gonna answer this. Um Come on. Okay, Come I on. would change <sighs> it's actually a great thing at the same time but she has to clean everything before we begin anything. House has to be clean, room has to be cleaned. It's freaking epic, do not get me wrong. But I do like when we can just like get to it later. Sometimes Derek likes living in filth. I don't like living in filth, I like thinking, you okay. You said it makes it more homey. <laughs> okay. Um, and you this would be so much mayonnaise all over your body if we were doing that. <laughs> Any embarrassing swimsuit men have. I used to play tennis when I was little and I was getting back from one of my tennis workouts and I was late to a pool party. I hurried and changed out of my tennis clothes. I went and I was swimming for like an hour. I got up on the diving board and I looked down and I realized that I didn't change out of my underwear, my white underwear. And it took me an hour to realize that I was on the diving board and one of my friends was like, get down. Cause it's see-through. I've been mortified ever since. Oh. But yeah, I'm sure at the beach there's been a fair share of like, oh my gosh, there's a boob because we get wrecked by the waves. Have you ever done anything illegal? I trespassed once. Yeah, I did trespass once and they gave me a class B misdemeanor. I actually just turned 18 and we went to this abandoned school, but my friend was really loud and then next thing we know there's like 30 cops outside with their flashlights. But, okay, where they were trespassing was literally right next to the police station. Yeah. Dumb. <laughs> they put us all on probation for four months or something like that. Okay, well, I got my license taken away because I got six speeding tickets. Something like that. I just like going fast in my car. Does Derek think periods are gross? Tell him. Tell him. No. He does. I suck with that stuff, okay? I'm just queasy. I understand why it happens and that it's a very good thing. Okay. Yes, I get that and I've gotten way better. But when we first lived together, I sucked at that. But it's life and life can be gross. <laughs> that was really fun to watch. Did you ever hate being a mom at first because it's hard? Did you ever want your old life back? I never ever hated being a mom but I definitely had those moments in the beginning where I was like, oh my gosh, life is a lot harder now. 
and I had a lot of stuff I was dealing with. So it did was you ever really feel tough. like you wanted to go back to your old life? I never wanted to go back to my old life because never. I just love Jack so much. Postpartum body image, how are you feeling? Pretty huh? bad. You? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty bad. I don't like my dad bod. I'm determined to get jacked. Last question. There are good days and there are bad days. Honestly, it's hard just seeing like either pictures before you had a baby or like trying to put on your old clothes and it's like not even anywhere close to like being able to fit. Honestly, like losing baby weight is pretty hard. And stretch marks are like not fun. I'm trying to keep a positive attitude. I've been working out every day and I'm trying to eat a little healthier. I feel like you just have to like give yourself grace if you're a mom because you are so busy and it's so hard to find time to like make healthy meals and to work out it's just a lot um, okay on a stranded island which of your couple friends would die first and who would survive sarah was like derek we die first <laughs> freak sarah i honestly thought we would die first i'm like we'd probably do something really stupid i wouldn't do something stupid. i would do something derek really would stupid. like try and like climb a coconut tree and fall off and smash to his head. To get you the food and nourishment Yeah, he would need. try really hard, but. I'm gonna say no to us, and I'm gonna say to my brother and Lauren, because I don't wanna say me, but Tanner and I both never really went camping growing up. Friends that would survive. Heather and Bryant were the first, I would think. Heather and Bryant Goodman. Does D ever piss you off? No. Yes. No. When you don't listen to me, it really makes me mad. Like when I literally ask, and sometimes it'll happen like five or six times a day. And then by the end of the day, I'm like, ah! do you poop in front of each other? We always try and kick each other out, but for some reason we're always like in the bathroom. Actually, I still Sarah, don't like Sarah it. Sarah still Derek's, hates it. I still I hate really it. Care. Yes, you do. You can't, you literally cannot handle if I'm anywhere near it because you know it reeks. Free. No, he literally can't handle even if I'm like, like if the door is open, he's like, shut the door, shut the door. Okay. I'm talking about you don't mind. I don't like it. I don't like for being for her. Derek's always stink. You're you stink. Don't be in there. We did it. We did it. Might be seeing a part two, part three coming because there were so many juicer questions. Go ahead and subscribe. Like it. Like it, click to get notified. You guys are the and best. And leave comments, I love your comments. Also, you guys, I need to shout out our three winners. Preset winners. No. Where did I write them? Wait, uh, I swear I wrote them in here. Toes. <laughs> get those down! This is my foot. Derek hates when I go like this. Ew! Okay, I found them, but they weren't in the pages, they were in my notes. We're gonna announce the three, three winners, winners of our giveaway that we did a few weeks ago on what YouTubes we should do next. We said we we're gonna pick three of our favorite ideas. Number one, Brooklyn H. Ooh, yeah, Brooklyn. Why didn't I write your last name? Um, <laughs> reacting to old embarrassing pics. So that'll be a YouTube coming up. Number two, Dare Night with other couples. Katya Johnson. Um, congrats. And then... Hopefully we're saying the right names. <laughs> which one was the last one? Congrats. The one of y'all says yes to the other for 24 yeah. hours. That will be a very interesting Brianne. one. Brianne. Brianne Yay! Congrats, you guys. We'll send you a DM. You guys are Thanks the best. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.